Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So now we're moving into Mars in Virgo. So Mars is a planet of aggression, sex, action. If you have your Mars in Virgo, this placement is very picky because as we all know, Virgos like things a certain way. Virgos are not gonna settle for the bare minimum most of the time, most of the time. This is only one part of a placement of your chart, so don't take this that literally because everybody is different. Whether they have this placement, they could still settle for a bump. This placement, Mars and Virgo, they like to please their partners. They like to please people in general and like in the work field. In the work field, they really want to make sure that they're giving it their all and that they're pleasing the people that um, they want to just wow or you know. I am a Mars and Virgo so I know about this placement the most out of like all the Mars placements. I just know when I'm working and stuff I just feel like I need to be doing something when it comes to work or being productive or I feel like I'm not being my best self and that is a lot. Um, Virgo is my north node too so I feel like that plays a big role but um, I have a strong Virgo energy even though it's just my Mars and my North Node. I feel like that really makes a difference in my chart and I always strive to like be better than I was yesterday. Like I always want to make sure I'm pleasing um, people in the work field sometimes and I have to watch myself when I do that. But I just always want to give it my all because otherwise I'll just feel like I'm not doing that well for myself. So I always feel like I have to work harder but I'm a Taurus. So I can be unmotivated sometimes. It's very true that people with their Mars in Virgo can um, struggle with perfection. Like they feel like they have to be perfect majority of the time. And it's not always going to be that way. And I know I am nowhere near perfect, but I know that sometimes I try to be, but that's just impossible. So. Um, people with this placement, Mars and Virgo, they want everything to be up to their standards, aka perfect. <laughs> Since Virgo is all about the sign of service and helping, Mars and Virgo people will sacrifice themselves to please. Like, in order to please people, they, they have no problem with, like, sacrificing themselves sometimes. And that's not always a good idea. It's actually never a good idea, unless it's, like, your kids or something, or your family, but... It's just something to look out for if you are a Mars in Virgo placement. Try not to like, try not to give your all or just try not to um, please somebody all the time because like nine times out of ten you won't get that back in return. So just keep it, keep it like, just keep the feelings mutual unless you um, just know for a fact that that is a good idea. I don't know. It's really for the people they love though. So I, um... Like, if you're intuitive, you know, like, who is the right people to do that for. They could get taken advantage of just because they love to uh, please people so much. And they'll do anything for the people that they love, basically. But I also wouldn't be surprised if Mars and Virgo people um, kind of sacrifice or people please for the people that they don't even love or don't even know like that. I personally don't do that, but um, it's not too far-fetched. For a Mars and Virgo person to do. These people love to keep busy in some way, shape, or form. They are very goal oriented and practical. They are very good at handling different tasks at once. Their anger is not too bad. Like, they can tolerate a lot of bullshit, but it could become very naggy and critical and judgmental. That's their anger. Very judgmental, very critical complaining type anger. Similar to how Mars and Virgo people work, they have similar energy in the bedroom. Like, they just want to please, like, they want to make sure that they're giving their all most. They want to be great at what they do. Um, these people genuinely want their partners happy and pleased and just enjoying their sale. They don't want to disappoint them and they are open to trying new things. So yeah, that's all I have for Mars and Virgo. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or if it resonated with you, go ahead and give it a like, comment, and subscribe. 
can also hit that notification button so you can know the next time I'm dropping some heat. Um, I have been on a break. Last time I posted a video was like a month ago, so I'm really just trying to get these videos out and finish up the Mars series. 